Okay guys, so occasionally my camera will delete a file that I film or just not convert it right and so the file effectively disappears. Um, that was the case with the first file in this video. So um, if you can, imagine yourself out in my workshop in the queue line scene and I'm telling you right now that I'm about to paint the door on the repair shop. The little door um, which you'll see fully painted now. Alright guys, so I got it all painted. That actually looks really good from this angle. Um, I'm really liking that. Again, still gotta put this handle on it. I'll be mounted right in there somewhere. Um, but that looks really awesome. Uh, so that's it for today guys. Just a quick uh, 30 minute build. Or I guess paint. But it's something. Um, so yeah. Um, I'll probably be back out tomorrow maybe. So yeah. I will show you then. Alright guys, so to start off today, here's a nice clear view of the facade. Um, the door, well the garage door and the people door, I'm going to distress with tea staining, like I'm going to water down this paint, this oops paint I got. It's On camera it looks um, more black, but in real life it has some green to it. So I'm going to water it down in just an empty old paint can, a little bit of this and then a little bit of water, and I'll soak the sponge in it, and then squeeze it and let the drips roll down. So. That is what I am doing. So, I will show you when I'm done. Alright guys, so here's the finished look. Um, nothing too intense. It shows up more on this door um, than on the garage door. But that really looks, I mean, it doesn't look white anymore. It looks old, which is the purpose. Um, this one, not quite as much. But I did pretty much go over the whole thing. I went two squares at a time with the sponge, just completely covering them. And then I'd hit it with the spray bottle to just disperse it a little more. And this one I went over probably two or three times just to get it fully covered. Um, and that, I mean, that door I'm more worried about than um, this garage. Um, but the garage does look more aged now, which is nice. Um, but I didn't want to do like a full paint wash like this because I feel like that's just overboard. Um, so very realistic, I feel like. Um, so yeah, that is this facade. This facade's getting close to ready for photo shoot, which will be good because I really want to use this area for photo shoot. Maybe get me in makeup um, for the photo shoot, uh, or full costume and makeup for the photo shoot, and that'll probably happen in a week or two, um, so we can get some marketing materials out. Um, and this area will be the area we use, um, just because it's pretty much going to be the iconic. Um, set for the haunt just because it's the queue so next I'm gonna mount this door handle and then we'll see what I do from there okay guys so um, a few things got done I got the handle on here on this door so that looks really good um, I really love that handle and then I got a light mounted way up above the sign um, kind of hard to see because of the shop lights up there but once the shop lights are out and that lights on the shadow created by the dome upward is pretty much just gonna make it seem like there's no support with a shop light there like it's gonna make the shop light seem invisible because all the lights gonna be coming down so um, one other thing I did I painted the gut barrel um, I bloodied it I guess um, but that is a combination of black and two shades of ray ray red um, spray painted on there and then I had a uh, latex glove and I just smeared it all up so that looks way better than um, any one of them individually um, which is perfect all right guys so here I just put up this little my garden creepy thing um, there my like I mean this area is gonna have corn stalks and stuff so it fits the setting it's just a little tiny accent that very few people are gonna read but the main thing I did back in here um, started working on this scene um, no the walls aren't painted yet but what I'm just gonna do here and here is just spray paint them and then this wall I'll move this prop and I'll paint it black when I paint this stuff black but because it's gonna be so densely fogged um, I'm not worried about that wall so what I got here got a pentagram um, shelves here different stuff that I'm uh, setting up I got some deer antlers um, I'll cobweb this real thick um, once I get everything else done um, got this here so that'll be really cool and then this guy right when you walk into your left which should be a nice touch because that'll get a good scare so um yeah and as you can see the one caved in shelf so I really like that effect I had to do that otherwise the pentagram wouldn't fit there and I kind of like that look of like it caved down because of whatever powers in that it just boom that shelf collapsed so yeah that is it for now guys all right guys so that is gonna be it for tonight um Good bit of work got done, especially for a school night, so uh, that's good. Um, 
yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, this barrel is looking pretty good. It's drying up. I really like that look. So let me know what you guys think. But I think it looks real nice and gory. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I will see you. I'll probably end the video here. So see you next video.